Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell at all, but it is a hot 82, almost 83 degrees in here, uh, Fahrenheit that is, with, well, I didn't plan this, but uh, a 69% indoor humidity. Just a minute ago, it was at 72. So, it's pretty hot, pretty steamy inside the pop-up. Now, I see this question, or almost even misconception pop up every once in a while and usually the scenario is that you know perhaps it's raining out it's humid out and so the natural thing to do is for everybody to jump inside the pop-up camper button or batten down all the hatches make sure all the windows are sealed up that way no rain is getting in and perhaps you might start cooking a meal or running some hot water boiling some water things of that nature all that does is increase that relative humidity inside the pop-up and then you might start noticing that there's water on your vinyl or on your canvas and it's beating up and you might think there's a leak well in reality that might not actually be the case and it might just be condensation inside so that's what this video is about i have four tips and tricks for you guys to combat humidity inside your pop-up camper so that way you don't have you know condensation you don't have what might appear to be any leaks inside your pop-up so let's jump into it it's hot <laughs> all right so tip number one is to simply reduce the amount of moisture that you're putting into the air now i know let's let's say for example it's raining the natural tendency is to all jump inside the pop-up and maybe even the dogs too and just as a natural result of breathing talking etc etc you're releasing uh, that moisture into the air which can lead to condensation but there are a few other things so for example if you're cooking or if you're boiling water or if someone's taking a hot shower those are all gonna um, release that moisture into the air, which once again can cause condensation. So I just encourage you to be cognizant of the fact that all those things can result in that um, and just try and reduce them if that's an issue you're having. Additionally, the tendency can be, perhaps if you just have like a, a shower or bathhouse um, at the campground you're at, would be to bring your towel back and let it dry. For example, if you have one of these um, hanging racks or something over a shower that's a good place to let um, your towels dry but once again that's releasing moisture into the air so I encourage you guys to actually use your um, bunk and support brackets bring a few clothespins and let your towels air dry on the outside so tip number two is to simply increase airflow like I said before if it's raining out the tendency is to batten down the hatches zip everything up and well that's just a recipe for condensation so i encourage you to open up a few windows especially on well you're looking at the back side of, of our pop-up but on the front side you kind of have the awning if that's out then you can open up those front side windows and as long as the rain isn't like coming in sideways you'll be able to open those up increase that airflow and um hopefully reduce that condensation now, in addition to your windows being open or at least slightly vented, um, I encourage you guys to have fans available. Now, we have the, let me grab one and turn the light off. We have these simple light fan combos that attach to the shepherd's hook and then um, kind of pigtail into the overhead lights for 12 volt power. These are nice for moving a little bit of air around, um, especially in the bunks at night. But in addition to these bunk end fans, you could just get a simple tabletop fan, um, really anything just to encourage that airflow. Now, many of you may have seen, uh, I installed a rooftop vent fan where we had some uh, damage to the roof and that is installed directly over our shower. So. It's really nice for pulling, once again, that hot, moist air out when you're doing things like cooking, boiling water, having a shower, or things like that. So, like I said, just to sum it up, vent a few windows, 
get that air flowing with some fans and once again that'll help reduce condensation so just by cracking the windows turning on those uh, bunk end fans as well as our rooftop vent fan we are already down to 57 percent indoor humidity now i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video but the outdoor temperature yeah, we're essentially outdoors right but the outdoor temperature is right around 85 degrees and the humidity level is right around 41 percent so with it being 83 in here we're not too far off but um when we started off the video at like 69 70 percent humidity we've dropped quite a bit actually yeah we're um, already down 12 percent just adding in a little bit of ventilation definitely helps with condensation So the third tip for eliminating moisture and condensation within your pop-up is to simply turn on your air conditioner. Now, we have a roof-mounted air conditioner. Um, I'm sure many of you do as well, but you might have some sort of, um, I don't know, ground-mounted or air conditioner elsewhere in your pop-up. Nevertheless, simply by turning on your air conditioner, that will remove that hot, moist air from within your pop-up. And actually you can kind of see it in action. As long as, uh, for example, with a rooftop mounted air conditioner, as long as those uh, little drainage holes in your um, air conditioner aren't plugged up, you should see that water um, beating off your roof and then probably onto your canvas and off. That's actually a good thing. That means A, those um, drain points aren't clogged up and B, of course, it means that um, that air conditioner is doing its job by removing that moisture from the air thereby eliminating any chance of having condensation. So after running the air conditioner for a little while, we have dropped down to not only uh, just under 71 degrees, but down all the way to, oh, it just jumped up, probably because I'm holding it. It was at 40 and then it jumped to 42 and now it's showing 47. But uh, yeah, pretty significant decrease in humidity after running that air conditioner for a little while and uh, not to mention a lot cooler. So that was tip number three. And finally, for tip number four, actually, you guys may have seen it in the background, but we like to bring along these moisture absorbers. Now, there's really no particular brand in particular that we're, you know, recommending or whatnot, but we like to pick ours up at like the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store because they're significantly cheaper than, for example, like the name brand like Damp Rid. But essentially, these are just an, a moisture absorber. This one happens to have a odor eliminator in it, and they just passively sit wherever you tuck it and pull moisture out of the air, and you can dump them out every once in a while. And there's just like these little crystals in there that pull moisture out of the air. So they're pretty handy and... If you use this in conjunction with some of the other methods, you can get down to a really comfortable humidity, even when uh, maybe the humidity is high or everybody's piled in the camper. So tip number four is moisture absorbers. And these are especially great for when your pop-up is in storage over the winter. Um, throw a few of these in the pop-up maybe in easily accessible spots, and then um, every once in a while you can check on them, dump them out, and um, that way when your pop-ups all close down and maybe covered up or something, you're pulling uh, that excess moisture out. That way you don't get mold or mildew or any dampness in your pop-up when it's closed up. So that's tip number four. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, four tips on how to reduce that condensation inside your pop-up to hopefully make it a little bit more enjoyable experience. And like I said, don't mistake um, condensation for water getting in somewhere, especially if you have like this um, fake leather-like material, which is vinyl that should be inherently waterproof. So if you see water coming in or water on areas like this on the inside, more than likely it's condensation. Not to say that like water couldn't be getting in through the seams or things like that, or if you have like um, canvas underneath uh, where we have this Reflectix, 
those you do need to periodically waterproof but um, sometimes it's easy to mistake so as always guys hopefully we see you in the next video if not uh, hopefully we see you out here camping